Yes. Continued mistrust of Thunder Bay Police Service has prompted Indigenous leaders to call on the province to intervene. They want the service to eventually be dismantled, but in the meantime, they're demanding that an outside agency take over all major crime investigations. MPP Saul Mamakwa hosted a news conference at Queen's Park in Toronto this morning. Lee Noonan reports. The various calls asked for the police service to be overseen by the OPP, for them to be removed from major crime investigations, and to be dismantled entirely. Kiwetnung MPP Saul Mamakwa called for the oversight of the Thunder Bay Police Service. Solicitor General Sylvia Jones responded, saying allegations against the Thunder Bay Police were already being investigated through the Ontario Civilian Police Commission and the OPP. Systemic racism within the Thunder Bay Police is preventing justice for Indigenous people, and it is intolerable. Will this government immediately call for OPP oversight of the Thunder Bay Police. Those investigations must happen in order, exactly as you said, to bring back trust and faith in the police services in Thunder Bay and elsewhere. We've done that, those investigations are ongoing, and we should not and cannot politically interfere in those independent uh, reviews as they take place. The exchange followed a press conference hosted by Mamakwa in which Anishinaabek Nation and Anishinaabe Aski Nation made a joint statement co-signed by the Thunder Bay Indigenous Friendship Centre. They called on the Solicitor General of Ontario to dismantle the Thunder Bay Police Service and for an immediate moratorium on all major crime investigations by the Thunder Bay Police. Both organizations expressed a lack of faith in the competence of the Thunder Bay Police to investigate the deaths of Indigenous people and a frustration with studies and reports examining racism in the police service. Anishinaabek Nation Grand Chief Raj Niganobi says police institutions are unwilling and unable to make substantive change, filing reports away to be forgotten until the next incident. The Thunder Bay Police Service leaves a trail of inadequate investigations, a negligently managed record system, and a lack of substantive oversight. Trust is broken, and every day Thunder Bay Police Service remains in control of major crime investigations and another day Indigenous people are at risk in the city. NAN Deputy Grand Chief Anna Betty Achnipaneskim focused on the issue of reinvestigations and the anger and mistrust of families whose loved ones' deaths have been inadequately investigated. No more families should have to endure this racism and continued victimization at the hands of the police. Mayor Bill Morrow issued a statement saying he welcomes the opportunity to discuss the police service and other issues facing the city with NAN Grand Chief Jarek Fox. Meanwhile, Police Board Chair Kristen Oliver issued a written statement saying that more work needs to be done to rebuild relationships. The Police Board will be convening an emergency meeting on Saturday, which will be closed to the public and media. Lee Noonan, TBT News.